Hey everyone, it's me again, Dominique from Blogging in My Undies blog, and Loki over there, he's lying on the sofa quite comfortably. A bit annoyed that I woke him up earlier to say goodbye in the previous video. But uh, yeah, so I promised you another quick video about overnight care or respite care. So because V-Man's autistic and because we don't have any friends or family here, and because he can be quite a handful, especially now that A-Man's older and they're constantly fighting, and the whole V-Man slapping himself and pinching himself whenever the other two are screaming or crying because they're younger, uh, we qualified for something called respite care or overnight care is what I've been calling it. So the way overnight care works is let's say V-Man is booked from actually next Monday until Thursday. So what will happen is Monday morning he'll leave our home as per normal through taxi bus to school and daycare. And then after school slash daycare, uh, he gets picked up by a taxi from the overnight care. And then overnight care will have him Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, send him to school Thursday morning, and then he will come back to us Thursday afternoon after school's over. So, overnight care, it depends on where you live in Finland, what kind of facilities are available, but for us, it's 15 minutes down the road, so in case there's any crazy emergency, which there hasn't been yet, uh, he's very near, he's in familiar surroundings, which is also awesome. If he has uh, an opportunity to go for extra time, they do call us. He's one of the kids up near the top of the list because... The fact that we don't have any friends or family that feel comfortable or physically able to care for him, since our family's back in Canada. Um, overnight care, you know, it costs about under 12 euros a day, give or take. It may be dependent on the total household income, not sure, but we'll say yes just in case. It's booked every year, uh, six months in advance, the dates. We have some say in it, if we know something very well in advance that's going to happen, like my husband has a work trip abroad or whatever, we can try and request that V-Man gets those dates over there so it's just a bit easier for me with two kids and a dog as opposed to three kids and a dog on my own. And uh, yeah, so things that they do at overnight care, they use PECs. So the picture exchange communication system with him. Sometimes they have therapy with him. If there's a school holiday or what have you, then the therapist might go there to have his appointment instead of at daycare or school. And also they take him outside for lots of walks now that he really likes walking and he's not so much running away. Um, they'll sometimes take him grocery shopping and... In a way, this is wonderful because it teaches him life skills, things that he's going to need, that everyone needs to learn at some point, like grocery shopping, picking something, putting it nicely in the shopping basket or shopping cart, going to learn how to pay. You know, these are all, all important life skills and social skills that he'll need to have throughout his life. Um, if we give him a little bit of extra spending money, uh, then what we do is, um, you know, like about 20 euros, on the weekend, um, they may take him swimming at the nearby swimming pool, or they might take him out for lunch downtown as a big treat or for an ice cream, which is wonderful. So again, it's boosting, <clears throat> excuse me, it's boosting his social skills, learning how to wait in line for food, how to travel, transport, walking, you know, doing all these things that we quite often take for granted because it comes so naturally to us. Uh, yeah, so. They have a sauna in the overnight care place, which is really great. I mean, it's a fairly new building as well. It looks like an apartment building, and just one of the floors, the, flo the main floor that he's on, it has, like an apartment setting, it has um, a kitchen and living room, built it, you know, two-in-one thing, and then it has three separate bedrooms, quite spacious, and they try and keep it the same, that the same bedroom is assigned to the same child each time that they're there, if possible. And yeah, it's just really, really wonderful. And at first we were kind of guilty because he screamed a lot, but then once he got used to it and realized he could have a break, 
that's when I think he realized that, okay, this place isn't so bad. And I think that's when we came to accept that, okay, we're not bad parents for sending our kid to overnight care. Now, that I have a little bit of time left, um, things that we do as a family without the V-man uh, when he's at overnight care, I go knitting. I know that sounds really like granny-like, but, you know, I have the freedom to not have to be home at a certain time for a taxi so I can go get groceries by myself and then pick up A-man on the way back or M-girl. Um, I can go out for dinner with a friend or have a date night with my own husband. So it's a lot easier to find a friend or a colleague or a babysitter of any kind to watch two neurotypical children than to watch three, never mind one with nonverbal autism. So we've actually have a wonderful friend who also is a neighbor. If you're watching, hi. And uh, she's been absolutely wonderful. Um, she comes over and she watches our kids for us, the younger two, when the V-man's away and me and the hubby, we get to go over for dinner or we get to go to a movie and just chill and just not have to stress about our kids because one is in an awesome care and the other two are in also awesome care with a friend and our dog's fine as well can't forget the dog he's also adores our neighbor friend so it's just a really great way to break up all the fighting all the screaming all the frustration and at first it was mostly a break for us as parents like wow you know we get a break from autism how cool is that? You know, what are the chances? Because we don't have the grandparents that can, you know, be like, drop them over, pick them up in a couple hours, go have a movie date. You know, we don't have that option here, unfortunately. But what we do have is the overnight care staff, and they've been absolutely wonderful. There have been times where I've dropped him off sobbing in tears because he fought me the whole 15-minute walk, what should have been 15 minutes, turned into 40 because he would fight he would scream because he didn't want to go to overnight care until he got there and then once he saw the building once he saw the people then it was okay it was totally cool but on the way there it was just like heck no mm -mm, not doing it so I have to say you know it's been absolutely wonderful and it's part it's a big reason why we would never want to leave Finland is okay, I mean, we have to go where the jobs are, but the care here is phenomenal for a child with any kind of disability, and we just really appreciate that. So thank you very much to everybody, the overnight care staff, if they happen to see this video. I know they found my blog, link will be down below, and uh, our friends that have helped us babysitting and taking the dog out and watching things, taking us for grocery shopping and stuff, and yeah, encouraging us to keep trucking, you know, this really helps. So, take care, and I'm off to bed. Good night. Bye.